This is a 2005 Fleetwood Revolution diesel pusher. So there's two slide outs on here, one in the front and one in the rear. Now the entry landing is a ceramic tile, but there is carpet in the living room, but more of ceramic tile back in the wet area. Does have solid maple cabinet doors and cabinet faces and trim. Even a pretty heavy duty solar curtain on the front. If we look at the dash area, it does have hydraulic four point automatic leveling. The gauges are actually attached to the steering column on this, so they move with the steering column. Now, both the passenger seat and the driver's seats are in really good condition. And it has a suede fabric on both the center of the seats and the armrest. As we look at the front slide out, this oversized lounge sofa does not turn into a bed, but there is storage drawer underneath. But the dinette booth behind it does turn into a bed. Across from the sofa, it's going to be the recliner, which can be moved wherever it needs to be. It has a pull-out work table right there. It has pleated day-night shades. But that recliner will look at the main TV, which is above the driver's dash area. Next to the recliner will be the galley. The galley has a Corian solid surface countertop with asymmetrical under countertop mounted sink. Has a Corian backsplash of a different color. While the backsplash does have mirrors on it, it's at least smoked bezeled mirrors. <laughs> right above is the convection of a microwave. Below will be a three burner propane stove top. Next to the stove will be the four door RV refrigerator, both propane and electric. There's a pocket door to separate the galley from the bathroom area. We have a neo angle shower. This does have a fiberglass surround on it and real tempered glass on the shower surround. An elegant black ceramic sink in the bathroom. Still have the Corian countertops in the bathroom area too. Across from the shower will be the water closet. You can find the residential porcelain toilet. It is gravity, but a decent sized water closet in here. It is set up for a washer dryer combo in the bathroom, but there is linen closet above. Pass the double pocket door into the bedroom. We'll find the second slide out, which is this queen size bed. It's got a window in the headboard, but it is soft trim on the headboard. A 12 volt ceiling fan above. There is no storage under the bed. The bedroom TV is in the cubby over on this side, but there's a latch right here that will allow it to open up. Double mirrored closet doors with cedar line closet. And it looks like it has a central vacuum cleaner. But this is a pretty decent uh, 2005 Fleetwood Revolution. This is not an entry level diesel motorhome. This is definitely a mid grade level. Very beautiful and livable.